Hello chess friends and welcome to the Zanov Chess Channel and welcome back to the Computer Rapid Chess Championship in 2021. We're now in the semi-finals and uh, as I told you before, so far in the semi-finals we have six engines that are battling it out for the throne and of course the best two engines are moving up to the super final. So, so far Stockfish and Legacy Zero are in the lead, so again probably we have again the beautiful and brutal uh, Stockfish Legacy Zero super final. But uh, let's check out now what's going on. Uh, we're following as usual the leader and Stockfish. Stockfish is of course the leader of the semi-final. Stockfish has a comfortable three-point lead in front of Lila C0. But this game that I wanted to show you today is really, really brilliant because the, here Stockfish will play such a beautiful and brutal attack against the Nimzo Indian. And the, the Nimzo Indian defense is supposed to be sort of a positional approach. Uh, it's, it should be really a positional game, a positional and dynamic game for both sides in which you have to really struggle for a win, in which you are struggling for just one week square, maybe just for one week pawn but in this game stockfish will play such a beautiful and attractive brutal brutal attacking nimzo indian defense from white's perspective in which stockfish will sacrifice three pawns just in order to get a huge activity and uh, the good part is that ethereum accepted uh, this uh, this uh, the sacrifices of the pawns uh, accepted the challenge took the pawns and then the game became really wild with the game became really open with great opportunities for both sides so let's check out now the game here d4 played by stockfish we have now knight to f6 we have c4 after e6 and knight to c3 bishop to b4 the pre-arranged opening was the nimzo indian in which of course uh, black is always trying uh, this idea bishop takes c3 then b takes c3 then you get sort of a bone structure that's a little bit messed up then black is trying uh, to get the game more positional to get uh, the pawn structure more uh, more static he wants to play of course a really firm game with his knights on the board but okay uh, here in the continuation of the game many times you see this normal lines with the move e3 queen to c2 is also an opportunity you can also go into classical systems with uh, this three knights variation with playing knight to f3 here the pre-arranged line was uh, the classical system here uh, with the move queen to c2 in the continuation of the game we have now d5 c takes d5 and now the prearranged line was the move queen to d5 okay of course you cannot take the queen the queen is now centralized the queen is really weird there we don't want to tolerate the queen so far uh there in the center of the board but there is nothing that can be done because the e4 is of course not an opportunity you can simply bishop takes c3 and then uh here you lose the pawn so that's why you cannot really do so much uh, about this position uh that's why uh, here in the continuation uh, e3 has to be played it's a little bit of passive move but you see now how stockfish will activate the pieces in the game so here after move e3 ethereal plays now the move c5 c5 is again challenging simply the central uh, central pawn chain that black uh, white has built here in the continuation of the game white needs to take because if you don't take even if you can protect somehow maybe this uh, d4 pawn still you always risk maybe to get an isolated pawn here after uh, c takes d4 e takes d4 and that's something that you don't want to get the outcome of this pawn pawn trades in the center of the board you should always consider because if you get an isolated pawn there's simply no getting back into the game an isolated pawn could be i think already a bad bad position here for white so that's why d takes c5 here played by stockfish we have now knight to e4 uh, creating this further tension here around the square c3 we have knight to e2 and here uh ethereal simply takes knight takes c5 we have knight to g3 very important move to control the d3 square because knight to d3 uh, would be now c threat and you see now when we watch now this position it's obvious that okay black has so far a great activity but we can notice now in the more a couple more moves that after bishop to d2 white will get an extra tempo white will get an extra tempo because then black has to react either black will take but then bishop to c3 happens and uh, still white is continuing then the game with the great bishop with a great dark school bishop without uh the spawn structure being messed up as we said in the beginning of the video the main goal of the nimzo indian is to mess up a little bit the pawn structure now after bishop to d2 you cannot do that so so far in this opening line black has gained maybe a piece activity but uh, as we said white will gain an extra tempo by playing the move bishop to d2 then the queen has to retreat because the pin is not present anymore so uh here in the continuation casting was played now comes this move bishop to d2 and you have to retreat now and now the fun really really starts stockfish plays now a brilliant move bishop to e2 bishop to e2 is such a beautiful move because when we see now the position 
all of the minor pieces of whites are out well, both knights are developed both bishops are developed the most important thing is also that the queen is on the second rank so this queen is maneuvered from the first rank and now in the next move uh, or in the next couple of more moves the only thing that white needs to do is castle kingside or castle queenside and white is fully developed so there are these three stages of the opening there is of course developing minor pieces maneuvering uh, securing the king by castling and then maneuvering the queen from the first rank and connect the rook so now in the third stage uh, here white needs only to castle and everything is pretty much developed but of course uh, the problem is now the g2 pawn and that was now the beauty of the game uh, here it's here accepted the challenge played queen to g2 but now stockfish simply castled queen said and okay white lost the pawn but look at this setup now uh, look at this activity all of the pieces as i said are out and the cool part is that the g file is open now there is always but always this threat rook to g1 uh, attacking the queen and then knight to h5 this is uh, something that bothers i think now uh black in the continuation of the game the g this g7 square is really weak square i've analyzed just one move uh it's not even a good move i just analyzed really maybe one of the worst moves i just wanted to show you what can really happen if you play maybe a bad move like h6 without being even forced to play such a bad move but let's see just uh this beautiful continuations that can happen here rook to g1 then you can maybe take but now with knight to h5 you see g6 is not an opportunity you get simply rook takes g6 f takes g6 queen to g6 checkmate uh, so you would be forced to play something like i don't know g5 but still uh, with the rook to f1 the queen has to move in now knight to f6 is winning the game here queen to h7 so this would be maybe one outcome of course no one will play h6 but i wanted to show you really this beautiful potential of this attack that stockfish has here so that's why uh theory had to be careful played now the move g6 that's the only move that is locking somehow at least for a while the g file so here in the continuation king to b1 play by stockfish normal move securing the first the king here on the natural square now after move knight to c6 now stockfish launches of course the flank attack with move h4 the problem about this uh, attack for black is uh, you cannot really stop it uh, with the move h5 you would love to play this move then of course the pawn structure on the king side is a little bit static it's not so easy uh, maybe to open the position but then you get this one knight to h5 g takes h5 is not a possibility you get rook to g1 or rook to rook from d to g1 rook to uh, rook from h to g1 it's simply winning the game so that's why for move h4 there is not a good way to block the further progress of a potential h5 move you have to allow your opponent this move that's the beauty now of the stockfish attack so here rook to d8 h5 queen to f2 so stockfish is not counting pawns anymore stockfish is giving up every pawn here on the king side just in order to open here uh, the position on the king side so we have bishop to e1 attacking the queen queen to e3 take your pawns i'll have my fun by playing h takes g6 really really wild stuff uh here after f takes g6 we have rook to d8 knight to d8 and now knight to d1 every move now that stockfish is playing is a new tempo is the move that forces really black to do something that's the beauty of this game also because uh, there is this principle of the simple threat in chess so whenever you uh, are on the attacking side like white is here in this position then of course you want uh, to play really the simple threats because if you're playing maybe two three passive moves then of course b6 will happen bishop to b7 uh, maybe this rook will come into the game and that's something that you should not allow okay white is three pawns down but when we watch now this uh, activity of these pieces this bishop is blocked out uh, it's not good so when this bishop is blocked out then also the rook is blocked out the knight on d8 is not on a good square and the problem is now this knight is a little bit stuck here it's uh, the bishop is also a little bit stuck because here after move knight to d1 here bishop to f2 is played and now after queen to d6 this bishop is suddenly becoming a huge huge problem here for for black because stockfish continues the pressure plays now knight to d uh, knight to e3 we have knight to f7 so far at least one good move here by theory because at least you're bringing more pieces into the defense the retailer realized that there are many many tactical problems that you can face uh, well queen to c4 this was now a beautiful move because it's a double attack 
because now uh, black has to react again with knight to d7 uh, connecting the queen's uh, the queen with the bishop and now queen to h4 stockfish changes now the direction of the attack now the h7 is a huge huge target that's why you have to weaken the pawn structure further with the move h6 brilliant brilliant attacking style by the fish so knight to g4 attacking further the h6 weakness we have now bishop to d2 but now knight to e4 uh, we have now this powerful uh, fork against the bishop and the queen queen to f4 has to be played but now king to a1 this is now again a beautiful move because of course queen to e4 would come uh, with a direct check so that's why uh, here after move king to a1 you cannot take uh, queen takes e4 uh, because you get this one knight to h6 and you lose the queen so even if you try something like knight to d5 uh, knight to e5 pardon me in order to maybe get your pieces somehow into the game then bishop to g3 queen to f5 and then we can simply take and it's simply game over you can play maybe knight to g4 but uh, here you can um we can simply take bishop to g4 and uh white white is up a whole piece even in this scenario you can uh you can try some di different ideas you don't have to even take out at this one you can play even knight to knight to f6 is also an opportunity so uh, many many attacking opportunities uh here here for white so after move king to a1 we have seen queen to e4 not working knight to e5 not working here in the continuation uh even if you try bishop to b4 uh the problem is now uh look at this position the problem is that the queen is always a little bit stuck to the defense of the bishop and even if you try bishop to b4 to maybe get out with your bishop it's again not good because you get this one knight to f6 you have to play maybe something like king to g7 but now bishop to e3 you see the bishop is not on d2 anymore you have to lose another tempo with the queen and where to go or wherever you go maybe here queen to d6 you get simply this one uh, bishop to h6 and then uh, the game is simply over so really really uh, wild and open attack here uh, here by the fish so you can maybe prolong the game just by playing knight to h6 here we can play queen to h6 and you're going to get checkmated so really really not many things that uh, black can do here so as i said even bishop to b4 uh, cannot be played i'm telling you this because this connection uh, between the queen and the bishop becomes actually the main problem now for black in the continuation of the game because after king to a1 here uh ethereal tried king to f8 tried different ideas to secure the king but stock for simply plays now rook to f uh rook to f1 uh getting the rook where the queen is but also where the king is now if something gets cleared of course we could have really some great discovered attacks in the continuation bishop to c1 uh was played by ethereal again if you try a queen to e4 now it's uh, again not good because you get this one bishop to c5 you get the check after knight to c5 you get this one queen to d8 this was the brutal brutal attack uh here by stockfish you have to play now queen to king to g7 but now queen to f6 and it's simply game over this is really really a brilliant brilliant attack so even if you try again instead of this move bishop to c1 again if, if you try bishop to b4 to get your bishop out of the range out of the attack again you get this one bishop to c5 really really brilliant tactic after bishop to c5 uh, here we have of course rook to f4 and the game is over so the discovery attack is simply uh, too much to handle here for for uh, for black in the continuation as we said bishop to c1 uh was played by ethereal tried to stay somehow with the bishop active into the game but now queen to h1 we have queen to f5 and here finally rook to c1 there is not a good way to protect it anymore you cannot use this square you cannot use this square this bishop is hanging again this uh, f file is dangerous so uh, queen to f5 was played in the continuation we have now rook to f1 uh, rook takes uh, c1 pardon me and in this position of course white is much much better this is now completely winning end game here for for stock for h5 uh, knight to e3 we have queen to f4 rook to f1 and now knight to c4 knight to f6 knight to f6 uh, normal uh, trades of peace is not a problem uh, queen to f6 bishop to h4 queen to g7 and now bishop to f6 uh, too many darts were problems now for black black is of course lost here the evaluation is plus nine for for white so uh, queen to h7 knight to e5 we have bishop to d7 finally this desperate bishop gets into the game but it's simply too slow here we have queen to b7 rook to d8 knight to f7 uh, queen to f7 and this is of course the winning bishop takes d8 comes with the discovered attack against the queen here the continuation is three will try queen to e8 bishop to f6 uh, queen to c8 queen to g2 we have now queen to g5 uh, here king to h7 but now bishop to d3 here queen to h5 uh, we have now check 
bishop to e5 again a new check queen to d7 and uh queen to d6 was a beautiful beautiful checkmate so whew, really wild stuff uh, you see how stalkish attacks uh, the nimzo sacrificing pawn uh, then sacrificing another pawn just in order to get such a beautiful activity getting the pieces i think on the best course was the most important thing here the queen of blacks got a little bit endangered black uh, got the challenge many times white gained many many tempi against the queen but still this was really brilliant brilliant the brutal attack the bishop was really weird the bishop could not retreat to c5 where it could be at least used somehow but stockfish is calculating this open positions really in a wild way so that's why i decided to show you this one this was in my opinion one of the best games so far from this super super event so okay i hope that you enjoyed the game i really enjoyed it a lot if you want to see more attacking brilliances like this check out my comment at chess games played by computer series with some more games played by stockfish alpha zero lila zero and many many more and if you want to see human best chess games uh, that were played in chess history check out my best chess games of all time series with some great games uh, that were played in the past and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and chess is the best of course